Hi guys, welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday QPR review. This could be a brilliant time for to face uh, QPR due to the fact that they have a lot of injuries like we did near the beginning of the season. Uh, it'll be interesting to find out what the team news is tonight. Could we get Kirtland back tonight? But it looks like he's not warming up and as the team news says, no Kirtland. So that's a bit worrying if it is actually a tear, tear in his car or anything like that because People are making, putting two and two together, has he got some sort of cl clause in his contract? Uh, I don't believe he has, but if he has, I hope it's not not for that reason, because it's I don't like seeing players when they're holding out so they can get paid uh, the, their extra bonus, in a sense, if they do so many games kind of thing. The team uses Martinez, Halan, Buxton, Onyewu, Leuven, Maguire, Lavery, Palmer, Lee, Newhue, Beth. The subs are Davis, JJ, Putin, Cope, Mahoma, Aphobe and Lira. Very attacking team, it'll be interesting to see how we do. It looks like uh, Palmer will be playing on the wing or in midfield again like he did at the weekend. I'll be very interested to see how we get on against, let's face it, a QPR team. Even with injuries, still look very strong, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on and hopefully we can come away with uh, three points at home. So QPR start the game off. New shoes starting already pressing to win the ball, but it goes out for a throw for QPR. But him starting that way is superb. It's how he played the game. He's very determined and dogged. Uh, QPR tried to get the ball forward, but Onyeru headers it out. And interesting that Onyeru is facing his former club. Uh, I think they let I think they let him go because he was after 13 football. Uh, went a free agent, came to us so he could get some time, so he could get in the US squad. Uh, Beck wins the tussle with the defender and Landry fouled the left back and he go for a free kick to QPR. So we're trying to get the game going. Onyeu nearly took near Onyeu nearly let them in there, but we did all right. Uh, QPR won the first corner and they didn't really get a good cross in, but there was a great clearance by Beck to get it out. New Hugh tried to get a ground and then managed to get it to Lavery. Barton takes a free kick quickly and it goes past the post from Hill's header. And we were lucky there, it was one of those kind of crosses where it could have, if he got the right connection on his head, it would have been in. Maguire gets thrown and Lee tried to get into the box, but nothing but nothing came from it. Great work by Newhue to win the ball back off the defender, and QPL has to head it head it over their own crossbar, so we got a corner. But Newhue, you'll hear a lot in the first half, Newhue just working his socks off and getting the ball once we lost it and it goes for a goal kick the corner goes we get the corner and it goes for a goal kick for QPR QPR are trying to take a quick free kick to keep us off our uh, game and not really we've got to really concentrate with that but to knock the ball forward and try to find new here but it comes to nothing Hutchinson doesn't play tonight because of his knees he kind of got a issue with his knees a bit like oh, Leslie King did so you've got to go game by game. Uh, Lee loses the ball and QPR put a dangerous ball in but they put it over the ball uh, over the bar. Great build up play by Bucks and Maguire and Parner and New Hugh. It's been great little link ups of one two quick flowing football. Uh, We had a lot of pressure build up and we tried to get the ball into the box but by Lavery but unluckily goes out for a goal kick. Now at the time of Titan the game's atmosphere was very flat to be fair. Uh, maybe games normally seem to be a little bit flat games. Uh, but the, the net break was the tail of two breaks. One for QPR and then we went and went on one and there was a great tuck by New Hugh just Little talk got it to Lavery and Lavery got the cross in and the keeper came out for it. Luzon looked look like he took out his man and he was given a free kick. Uh, while that free kick was trying to... didn't come to anything. Newhue managed to get the ball to Lavery and he held a shot and wins the corner. Newhue wins the tackle and then he gets Lavery on the break. And Newhue worked very hard but so does Lavery and Lavery has been a fresh fresh out since he come in really want to play football he's showing that and the nice little ink build up with certain players is really good uh, New here on the break and he made to win a corner uh, we get a free kick and but uh, Barton 
go go to take it and takes a long time with it to be fair uh, so he takes a long time to do the thing but he didn't really come to anything Palmer had to go on the break and gets it to Beth and Beth wins the penalty and QPR get their man sent off uh, Dunn gets sent off and to be fair with how we got uh, in the Wigan game where we didn't where we can kept their keeper uh, and this, but by sound it sounded like it wasn't a red, but so they might be unlucky. So we know how that feels. Uh, the penalty taker to take it, who normally takes our penalty wins on the pitch with Maguire, he steps up and flutters it in the bottom corner. Great penalty, and we make it one nil. And you've got to say this is the second penalty best of one in the last couple of games, and he really is causing a lot of problems. Uh, Beth is the kind of player I would love for to uh, see if we could sign from Blackburn at the end of the season, but I can't see that happening because he probably would want two more of wages. But as it stands, we are now 45 points ahead of Leeds. Uh, the crowd woke up now, and it sounds uh, new human books and worked well and tried to get the, it into the box, and Palmer gets the cross in, and Maguire tried to get the ball into the back of the net from the cross. If it was New Hugh on the head, it would probably have gone in. Lazard puts a cross in, it bounces, it comes back out to him, puts another cross in, uh, and it was a great play, the goalkeeper managed to do it. But, catch it. Lavery then gets another cross in and wins the corner. Uh, second right now before half time would be brilliant, uh, because we deserve it, because we are starting to play well. Maguire with a shot and it just goes wide. Uh, but we win another corner and the header by Buxton is saved on the line by the keeper. Uh, we appeal to see if it goes went over, it was on the line. Beck goes forward and Lavi gets the ball and shoots and wins a throw in. New Hugh manages to tackle uh, a QPR player who just about got on the break, get the tackle, get the ball back, gives us it on the break and we nearly get another goal. A great first half. Uh, we played really well and we could really get another one very soon if we keep playing like this in the second half. Uh, New Hugh got clapped off the pitch at half time like all the other players. But I've been saying all year uh, New Hugh been a player I wanted to do well all season. And I've also said, uh, I think it was around November, I think it was October, November time when uh, we were struggling for goals and I was out wanting us to play Lavery. And Lavery has been playing superb since he got into the squad. He really is showing that he's hungry and he like to just want to play football. So it was great to get him get him going and he's playing well, getting crosses in, uh, getting shots in, working the defence uh, and linking up very well with the player, which is brilliant. Let's hope in the second half we can have maybe some more goals and hopefully come away with the three points because we are playing well at the minute. Uh, we start the second half and we puff forward straight away. Uh, New Hugh manages to win a corner and he's just battling well. And it's a good header by Buxton. Palmer tried to keep it alive but can't. And they're trying to come forward a little bit, but a good tackle by Helan gets us going now. And we might get the ball forward with Lowry and get foul and foul and Beth. Uh, I think it get foul. Yeah, there you go. But then. We get it into the box and it's a great goal by Beth. It really is. A great run by Onyeru. But Beth with the with the goal makes it 2-0. Beth gets it to Maguire, Maguire and Palmer and Holland gets a cross in and the ball goes to keeper. Holland for me had done really well. He's really playing with confidence at the minute. Everyone in the team is to be fair. But Holland's really playing well. Uh, they lose the ball and try to get it forward. Barton played the free kick in and the there but come to nothing. 18,000 at home midweek game is still good attendance. I know we're used to 20,000 odd but 18 at home is still very good. Uh, we managed to win a corner. New Hugh working very very hard when he uh, wins that corner. New Hugh wins the ball and tried to get and get the ball to Maguire and Maguire uh, tried to get it into the box which he did but we did, didn't have enough urgency of players going into the box. We managed to win the ball back and Helani trying to run out, run, 
run on with the ball and manage it, gets it to Par gets it to McQuire and then links up well with Palmer and we managed to win a corner. New Hugh hits it, just goes wide. They come forward but Halan takes it off them really quickly and gets going and plays it to New Hugh. Uh, and he takes the shot and it goes over the bar which is unlucky. But Buxton makes it 3-0 with a stunning strike. He was falling back because Adley hit it and it's a great goal. Uh, really deserved that, really played well since he'd come back into the squad. Uh, it just shows you when you have certain players that you've not had in your team for a long time and then they come back. Shows you what we can do with Lee coming back being a big help, Buxton coming back being a big help. With Palmer now in the midfield area uh, playing as a winger at times, he's done well. It's really good to see him playing really well at the minute uh, with, with the player coming back. Uh, Beck comes off for JJ and Lee Lee's been good since he'd come back into the team JJ goes down it looks like he's in a bit of pain but he manages to run it off we chase down all the loop balls which is nice to see Helan comes away with the ball and plays it to Maguire and d tried to have a shot but it doesn't come to anything Prutton uh, comes on for Maguire a foe comes on for Lavi. Lavi gets a standing ovation for how he played. Great play. I really hope we can tie him down to a contract. According to Ooh. reports, it's all getting uh, tied down by uh, agents. So if we can get him tied down, that'd be brilliant. JJ with the free kick and it goes over the bar. Palmer, Palmer tried to pass it to JJ and he should have really passed it to a foe because he's in a better position. Prutton with a shot and it clips New Hugh and it goes offside. Uh, three minutes at a time and we go on the break. JJ gets his teeth to goal and has a shot. He's just like, any time he saw the goal, he's just going to shoot tonight. Uh, full time, what a superb performance. They played very, very well tonight. Uh, we have a four goal, goal difference. We're on 45 points. We are bullies. We're in 14th place. We are 12 points off playoff, which, to be fair, if teams above us slip up and we can keep going, fair enough, but I can't see us doing playoffs. Uh, you can dream, can't you? But 15 clear relegation, which is superb. Uh, great play today. Uh, bring on Donny at the weekend. If we're playing like this over the last two games and Donny has not been played, <sighs> No, he's not been playing brilliant, but if we can get a result from the Donny game as well, it'll just top off a very good week. But great, great play by the team. Uh, good win against QPR. Um, more than to come, I hope.